Now that you know what trip stop is and why it's worth installing, it's time to show you just how easy it is to install. Trip stop is installed in segments to ensure a smooth flow to the path when it does eventually move. Installing trip stop is a very simple process and needs nothing but a pair of hands and a hammer. Firstly, to define the distance between the lengths of trip stop, the length itself is generally used as a spacing guide. Ideally, concrete is laid in square sections. Now the trip stop is in position, use the three galvanized steel pins which are driven through pre-drilled holes into the ground. The trip stop should be pinned in the trench upright so that it is at 90 degrees offset to the finished surface and must not be allowed to deviate by more than 5 degrees either way. But does trip stop make much difference to the pouring process? Basically, the only real difference trip stop makes to the pouring process is positive. Once the trip stop has been covered in concrete, the only thing left to do is finish the concrete in the usual manner. Extensive testing of trip stop has confirmed that time is also saved in areas whilst trip stop is being used. One time saver is you don't have to edge the joins of the trip stop. Trip stop can also be used as a screening guide against fences instead of using wooden pegs and the wet screed method. Using trip stop also ensures the end user gets the correct depth of concrete. This saves a lot of time and in the end a lot of money. Just lay your trip stop and go. Trip stop runs full depth and width of the slab and must finish flush with the surface of the finished concrete and never be higher than the surface of the finish. The end result of using trip stop is we get a pavement that moves with the earth rather than displacing. At the end of the day, everyone can enjoy the benefits of trip stop. Trip stop, making everyone's path safer.